Hello ladies and gentlemen, MarauderX here back with more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and this is going to be really different from what we've been doing. The last two videos here have been recorded ahead of time, and we're doing post-commentary for them because I was having such trouble with audio with between uh, our headsets, and there's a lot going on, so I wanted to make sure I knew what was going on for this. Uh, so I have not seen seen this yet. She has so. not. So, but what I've what I went ahead and did is I went ahead, recorded it, beat the game, and saved it, uh, so that I could add a couple of things into it. And what we're gonna do is we're cheesing Castle Oblivion. I'm gonna use all blue cards to get through all of this, mostly calm bounties. I have yeah, almost so we enough. Don't have to deal with the. Uh, so we don't have to deal shadows. with the neo shadows. Uh, the reason why I did that is I did a lot of farming off screen, a lot of leveling. Uh, I believe I'm at level 60 by the end of this, and I have... The five... problem is that that didn't make the Neo Shadows any easier. No. Uh, level 60, and um, by the very end of the game, there's going to be one more level up. I'll have 1100 CP. But it does not make them easier, so I I did a lot of leveling in Destiny Islands, because the enemies there, none of them are resistant to fire, and all of your fire slights are the more powerful. Fire got boosted while all the other elemental slights got shafted. You've got the, the raid-type slights, but there are three really powerful... Which is actually really funny, because they're absolutely useless against one of the bosses. Yes, up they against. are. They are useless against the first of four boss fights getting ready to come up. So, that's that's kind of a dick move on their part. Of We're going to give you all these really good fire slights. Oh, one boss, it's going to heal it. So... And actually, they're worse than useless. And there's also little cutscenes like that in between uh, opening a couple of rooms. But one of the slides that we just got, uh, Raging Storm, yeah. is... Another fire slide. It's a fly fire slide. It's exceptionally powerful, but... Again, it's... totally useless against that yeah. one boss. Especially when paired with... Uh, the Red Nocturne card. It makes some of the, the fights ridiculous. Is some of the boss fights getting ready to come up exceptionally easy. Yep. Uh, which you'll see all that. But I, I wanted to, to show off this because, like I said, there are four boss fights. They require very specific planning. So I want I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I had those taken care of. And I also get to show off something here that I wouldn't have gotten to show off normally. The uh, room of Rewards that you can get. Once you beat the game, you can go back and revisit the ones you've already unlocked and get another treasure. But if you have if you haven't opened that room before, like we haven't done the one for Traverse Town, if we beat the game and go back to it, there'll be two treasure chests there. So there's actually going to be two treasure chests in this one because I hadn't unlocked it on this save file, but I have another save file that was right. Uh I'm also going to show off uh, in either this video or the next, uh, uh, the complete deck list, probably the next video. So, uh, I'll show off that, and I'm also going to show off a complete list of the yeah. Room of Rewards treasures between the first and second visit, because I'm, I really don't feel the need to, to go and get all of those now as, that we're as at the As much as we want to give you guys a complete and total thing that is... Yeah, as much as I'd love to do it on camera, it, it, there, it, it doesn't serve a, a purpose, especially once you get to this point in the game. It just makes some of these boss fights even easier, which... And it's, it's painful to go back and get all yeah. of those things. But I will include a list, that way you guys know what rooms to go for, should you... <laughs> Decide you want to do that. Uh, because most of them are enemy rooms. Yeah. Or enemy cards, excuse me. Yeah. So, they're... There's something that I haven't really been getting a lot of use out of. I get a lot of use out of enemy cards in these last four fights. You'll see that, and you guys will find that really enjoyable. At least I hope you will. We hope. Uh, but in the meantime, I just completely cheese this world because I don't feel like dealing with freaking Neo Shadows. They're, they are still a massive pain, even the level I'm at. They are it's no... It's not, and that, that's the thing about it, it's not about your level or your CP, it's just how they function. The fact that they Their are immune are to all, yeah. effects while they're in the ground, and Neo Shadows will naturally have pretty high cards. 
So and you guys see this room is very expensive. Yes, the key to rewards room here will always have the the set numbers. Most of the rooms uh, for boss the fights in these will have, have set, set numbers. numbers. Uh, but 30, 40, and 20, so it eats up a ton of my cards. The, ne the boss fight room for this floor takes up even more. So, um, thankfully I saved my random jokers for that. <laughs> yeah. But you'll see here what kind of... That uh, would have been painful. Yeah. You'll get to see what kind of special treasures we get. And like I said, I will I will post in either this video or the next video description. Because like I said, both of these are, are post-commentary so that you get the, the full experience. Mostly because the boss fights are so stressful, I would not have been able to speak. Because you have to be very precise, you have to pay very close attention. Which basically means that it would have been me talking to myself for 30 minutes, so... Not quite. The yeah. boss fights actually go by really fast. It's not terribly entertaining to listen to one person talk to themselves for that long, though. <laughs> you say this as my viewers have been... How long have they been watching me? Yeah, but you're not always by yourself. I not mean, always, no. I've been here for this, and you do and stuff with Culex, yeah. and you do stuff with Blues everybody and, else, yeah, so... so. And that is the special card that we get for beating the game, Star Seeker, which is uh, Mickey's yeah. special keyblade that you see in like Birth by Sleep and that sort of thing. Uh, which I if think you it, haven't played it, go do that. I think it first makes its appearance in Kingdom Hearts 2, doesn't it? It's it's a usable keyblade in Kingdom I Hearts 2. I believe so, but yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. It's it been a may little only while. be in Final Mix. Maybe I don't know. I don't remember. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since. So that's gonna be really fun when we get to that. And as you Since can see... neither of us have done that in a really long time. Yeah. As you can see, uh, Castle Oblivion is very linear. You, I went that way to get the treasure room, but I have to go all the way back around. It's all very, very linear, which is kind of a pain, but understandable because they want to make sure you go through the entire world. Uh, I was thinking there was something else I needed to say as far as... Like I said, I've... I've reconstructed all three decks specifically. I'm going to post those in the description. And the, the boss fights themselves are actually really quick, especially if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to die. The mm -hmm. first time I tried any of these fights, I died to all of them. And I really didn't... As much fun as that would be to show that on camera, if watching the trial... Like, watching one screw-up, okay, that's that, that happens. Watching the four or five screw-ups that I did, that's... That's just aggravating yeah. for me, and I can't imagine. Uh, you guys might find the frustration entertaining, but I don't know. I just find his frustration kind of scary. He tends to throw things when he I gets I, mad. I throw things like chairs and, and and people, laptops and laptops and and hammers. Controllers happen a lot. Contr yeah, contr I throw controllers all the damn time. That's and remotes. Controllers and remotes tend to be the big things. That's why I'm kind of scared about getting a Wii U because I. I <laughs> That, that, that touchpad control? Oh. His phone, too. Yeah, His yeah my phone. phone. Has been the victim a lot. <laughs> anyway. To, to hell with my phone. I, well, <laughs> son of a bitch can Well, the new one, not as much. Yeah, the new but... one, not as much. The old one. Oh my god, the old one. I was going to take a hammer to it. But as you can see, we've. I almost had enough calm. I, was, I kind of was debating about going to get more calm bounties just to do all calm bounties. Uh, then I said, but to hell with that. If you had left, you would have had to do. Yeah. You have some nerve to show your treasonous face around here. Some nerve indeed. Treasonous? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. Why let Namine go? If it weren't for your needless meddling, we could have turned the Keyblade Master to come and serve us. Oh, right. Your big plan. You use Namine to rewrite Sora's memory piece by little piece. And he turns into her total puppet. Then, using Namine and Sora together, you and Larxene overthrow the organization. Am I right? I would say that you are the traitor, Marluxia. Since when were you suspicious of us? Do either one of us have the heart to believe anyone? 
So you only eliminated Vexen to obtain proof of our plan. That I didn't want to do. But it was your order. Oh. Remember the order. You must eliminate the traitor. I always follow orders, Marluxia. And this is where we see Axel kind of being a badass. Like, kind of. He's, he's being a complete yeah. dick, but he's being a badass about it. Yeah. Like, um, I really do like yeah. Axel. I wish they had done more with him. Like, they did a lot with him in 2. And, two. and in 358. Yeah, which... 358 is where he gets most of his screen time. I know a lot of people are all... Oh, it's one of their side games, but... Well, I mean, even the but side games do bring information yeah. to the story, I mean... They do, and if you haven't played it, it's worth playing, and if you don't have a DS, then you'll get to at least see the cutscenes on 1.5, but if you, if you have the capability, I strongly suggest playing it. It was definitely worth the time that it took me to get through it. I wish they didn't do as many spin-offs and would have, you know, focused on finishing the story sooner. But, but I'm know, all kinds of excited now, so it's okay. Yeah, if they're, since they're doing 1.5, I hope they do 2.5, and then 3, and I'm good. Because that is that is the the Kingdom Hearts story that they're they're trying to convey with the, the well, Xenohort. now they've said that 3 won't be the last one. No, but they have said that it is the end of the Xenohort side. Right. So if they continue on, it could be completely new characters. It could be. Which, and who knows? It could be. It very well could be. And that maybe that's what the story needs. Yeah. You know, maybe... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Sora and Riku and Kairi and all of them, but... And I have probably... Way too attachment? Way to... too much of an attachment to video game characters, but I feel like... They've run their course. They've... At the, at, their, their after story this has game, been told. I feel yeah. like their story's been told, and maybe, maybe it's time for us to see... Something else uh, related to the Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. world. Yeah. I am very and that's, excited that's about part three, of the yeah. reason that I don't mind the spinoff so yeah. much because it's I feel still like a little it's bit more of the, the story. Well, and it's it's more of the story, but it's the outside, the outer edges of the story. Yeah, and it doesn't focus you, on you. You would be one of those people who would really like the Star Wars extended universe, seeing all the the probably. Yeah, you you would be one of those people. So this is the final save room before the first series. Notice the little gold card next yes, to the save button that is, above that. That is the complete that file. That is the complete file. So that means we've completed it, and you can see what level we were. Pause it and take a look at it. Level 60. Um, making sure I have the right deck equipped. You see I've renamed them Lethal Mega, Magic Ice, and Blitz. And there's uh, a reason for that. There's a reason. <laughs> Here's the final door. A one blue, a three red, and 99 of whatever else you want. I have the one blue, I don't have the three red, and I just use the random joker for both of it, because one random joker equals 99 cards. Uh, so here's some more cutscene. Luxine paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same! <laughs> The organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line's not you. Well, had to try it once, you know. your shield won't do you any good I'm afraid I wonder are you listening Sora oh? Axel says he's willing to harm nominate to get me you won't let that happen will you 
Oh, come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already? After I finish you, he's next! Hmm. <laughs> now, Sora... We've got more in common than you might think. I'd really rather not fight you. But I can't dishonor the organization, now can I? That is an epic scene, and the first fight is against Axel, who has a ridiculous number hit combo for a single card attack. Which and I'm if, sure you'll see when he gets If you off. have the displeasure of being hit by it, you can't stop it. Because Axel's unique effect is if you're stunned, you can't use cards to break. So if he manages to hit you, you're you're bummed. So this deck, I basically just use Blizzaga with uh, the blue Nocturne, not Nocturne. Blue uh, Rhapsody. Blue Rhapsody. Uh, to I think increase that's what it is. My, right. Yeah. Okay. I wait for him to throw it, he'll teleport Dodge to roll. where he he lands, and then I hit Dodge him with Blizzaga. Dodge roll is your friend, basically. Or if I'm far enough away. But I mean, look how much damage it does. And not the, helping is the fact that he is a, you know, fire. Yes. Based that is the biggest problem. All of your techniques up until this point are going to be fire-based for your heavy damage. So, Blizzaga? So, Blizzaga and a blue Rhapsody card are probably your best round of defense against him here. Or if you take the time to farm multiple blue Rhapsodies, that'll help even more because it only lasts for one uh, one reload. So if you use uh, yeah. a Ether or Elixir or something like that, that counts as a reload. And he breaks all of my my cards, so it, this becomes kind of a pain to uh, survive. And this is why... Even though we've almost, we've gotten him down over half at this yeah. point. But zeros and ice cards are what I use to, to deal with him. Axel. Yeah. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to set uh, a shortcut. You can set shortcuts in the deck if you press down on the D-pad. It'll take you to a specific card. I wanted to set the zeros because... That's your shortcut. Yeah. But that is one card attack. That was an eight. And I couldn't stop it. This is it. But Blizzaga's an effective strategy. Just dodge him. And dodge roll and Blizzaga. Yeah. My friends. Might be the best way to deal with him, honestly. It's one of the easiest. His enemy card is actually quite useful. It le lets you uh, use cards even while staggering, so it would have been more useful in this fight. But... Well, that's the point. You're better than I thought you'd be. It was worth saving you after all. Saving me? What do you mean? Sorry, I would hate to kill the suspense. Axel! <gasps> so that's interesting. Axel's not dead. Duh. She's gone. We have not seen the last of him. And when you get kicked out, you get kicked out here. I don't understand. They're still with the, we're going to kick you out in random places. Why not? Whatever. Super glide makes it so easy to get around here. Yeah. And save it again. Oh, no, I don't. I just, I continue on. I'm, I, I'm very reckless with Walk this. Walk on the wild side, my friend. Like, at this point, it's like, what, uh, do, do I care? Uh, using a random joker will just produce a random room. So, I do not recommend doing that if you're trying to cheese it like I am. Because it can make, uh, the it first time I tried it the absolute worst possible thing. It made there. a looming darkness room. I'm like, oh, oh. Crap. Not where I want to be. I don't talk about the, the layout. There are bells here in... That drop stuff. That drop stuff. And they make bell noises. They're kind of creepy. It, it is a little creepy yeah, to are. listen to. 
And I just, at this point, I say screw it, because I want to go beat the boss, so we just continue forward. I don't even go get the Moogle pack, that, but I don't need it, because I've got more than enough cards for what oh, yeah. I'm, I'm doing, and my deck is pretty much uh, as solid, or all three decks are about as solid as they're going to be, so. But I do make one final save room. Which is probably very smart. Yeah, I do. I think I save it here. I might. I don't quite remember. I have the attention span of a, a goldfish, so. I certainly hope you do. Okay. Yeah, I do. So I, I'm not quite walking on the wild side. And once we're here, you have the one door. You don't have to open this door. This one's already open, so the second you go through it, it is. Yep. Just what it is. So, uh, unknown, unknown room. room, already open. I do remember to switch my decks. I can't tell you how many times that I went through this, that I was trying to get through this game, that I go, oh, I'm using the wrong deck for this fight, and have to die to redo it. You've defeated Axel. <laughs> the Keyblade's power. How I've longed to make it my own. Let Nominate go! You've no chance of winning. Nominate, erase Sora's memory. What? But if I do that... That's right. Sora's heart will be destroyed. His heart destroyed? You can do that! I'd rather have preferred him unmarred. But he can be rebuilt more to my liking with time. Namine, do it. No. Sora forgave me even when I deceived him. So how could I destroy his heart? There's no way! I don't care what happens to me. I won't hurt Sora. I won't do it! Then you will. Do it, Namine! <sighs> I don't care. You can erase my memory! Sora! Why'd you say that? Because... Who will I look after if I don't have... Namine? So just do it! Erase my memories! Destroy my heart! I promised! I'll always protect you! You have to believe me! Sora! I don't need any memories to take on someone like Marluxia! You bet! Even if Sora forgets it all! You can, I won't forget. Donald's right. He and I can remember everything for Sora. See? I'll have all my friends' memories, so I can piece my own together again. You ignorant fool. If Namine uses her powers to erase your memory, you'll be nothing but an empty shell. Your heart will no longer be able to feel or to care, just like... Vexen's pathetic imitation of your Riku. Take another guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> it can't be. Riku! No. Just an imitation. Uh, you're a shell. A shell who has had everything taken. Everything! What can you possibly think I ever had? Both my body... And my heart are fake. But... There is one memory I'll keep. Even if it's just a lie. Whether it was a phantom promise or not. I will... Protect Namine! Imbeciles. You would knowingly shackle your heart with a chain of memories born of lies? You would be one who has a heart, yet cast aside your heart's freedom? You turn from the truth because your heart is weak. You will never defeat me! Right, I have to say, I love Marluxia's scythe. That's an awesome looking scythe. <laughs> But as someone who played Dark Knight main in Final Fantasy XI, I kind of like sides. 
Uh, Marluxia is a bitch. Like, he is just the, the penultimate bitch. The, the deck I use for this is Blitz, partnered with Jafar, so that he can't break any of my attacks once I start using them. But it only works for 20 attack cards, and a slight counts of 3 cards, so you'll see it counting down each time. But, it, it does help. It helps get through. And Blitz is more useful in this than Sonic Blade, because he has a teleport ability, and if he teleports when you use it, it kills Sonic Blade. But Blitz will continue forward. So... Uh, also, his attacks suck. Look, look how much damage yeah. that did. Yeah. He is just a complete so, twat. You have to really hope that he doesn't break that shit out when you're, like, reloading, I guess. Yeah, I, I would... In this fight, always make sure you have at least one zero, because Death Scythe will kill you. Like, I'm kind of surprised I survived it there. Uh, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure that if you want to go the route of, uh... Uh... Trinity Limit? Trinity Limit does a fair bit of damage to him. And if you want to pair that with, uh, Jafar, I'm pretty sure that protects against it as well. So he... Uh, Blossom Shower is a, a really interesting attack. It'll suck you up into it and... Like that? ...dance you around. Yeah. And I just, I keep blitzing. That's really the best way to deal with him, especially with his teleportation. He doesn't use it often here, thankfully. For the first time I, I went against him, he would teleport every single time I attacked, causing me to waste one of my cards, at least. Blossom Shower, also a pain. Drop shot is when you can dodge. I didn't really need to break it after he did that, but yeah, I saw that with teleport. one zero card. It was yeah four attacks. Yeah. yeah. So. And teleporting. So he does he does pull it out a lot more here than I thought he did, but. This Marluxia does have a lot of zeros as well, he's... So, that's why I wanted to partner him with the Jafar card, because he has a ton of zeros in this form, but his final form, he has almost no zeros, so it is kind of a, a back and forth. So, Blitz is your friend, it's highly broken in this fight. I'm almost dead. And he's got over two bars left, and I'm out of all of my restorative items. This is why I didn't want to do live commentary for this, because yeah. I, I would not be talking now. I'd be going, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> it requires way too much attention. I'm, I'm surprised I survived this one. This actually came very close to being uh, uh, a very bad fight. Yeah, I actually like Goofy Lose on I think I do. He keeps hitting me with Death Scythe from a distance. Thankfully, I uh, had the uh, the foresight to add in like five pure cards. Yeah, that was probably very wise. So yeah, I think I kill him with a zero card as just a regular attack. Which uh, I guess do what you gotta do. Yeah, and see, this is the thing about Trinity Limit. It takes so long. I get almost to it, and right before he would take damage, he breaks it. So yeah, you, have you have to, to deal with about it. attack animations in this game being a massive pain in the ass. There you go. And he teleports, so you gotta find him, so Goofy can actually do some damage to him. And he breaks it, does drop shot. And I reload as fast as I can, and go in for another Blitz. That's really all I can do. So you are a hero. Alright, so there's a little bit of a cutscene after this, and I'm just going to go ahead and end our commentary here. You guys will see the cutscene, and we'll pick up at the save point after this. So yep. uh, we will see you guys in the, uh, the next installment. So till then, later everyone.
Chicago. You could say that. <laughs> However, what you destroyed was merely an illusion of me. So what? Another imitation. He's really... in there? Yes. I knew it. I can feel his power. It's trying to destroy my heart. Gorge! We'll just take care of him together! Riku, protect Namine. You don't... mind? Should I? All right. <laughs>